there's a guy out there. Some of you might know him. I think he's relatively new to YouTube, and he seems like a cool guy. Uh, one of his main selling points for switching from strength training to more of a bodybuilding style approach is that going for that one rep max would just stress him out. And you know, I've been there. I think a lot of us have been there. You might have a deadlift one rep max coming up in five days on your program, and for the next five days, you're just stressing about it. And I get that. But it doesn't have to be that way. Going for a one rep max isn't actually necessary, especially if you're just trying to build muscle. You'll probably end up with about the same amount of gains whether you do it or if you don't. So if you don't want to do it, just don't do it. But if you got that little bit of crazy in you, then here's the best way I think. Take the back squat for example, because that's my favorite lift. I have 20 to 30 different variations that I am consistently improving upon every week. I only go for a one rep max attempt once a week. So if you add that up, that's about 20 to 30 weeks that I have different exercises I can do. I have the low bar back squat. That's my main movement in my mind at least. Then I also have three different band tensions. That's four exercises right there. I can also add a pause. That's another four exercises. I can go down to pins at parallel. I like to do that a lot. Uh, that's another four. I can also do it in a high bar position. I can do a front squat. I can also do a zercher squat. All of those variations with just one bar. What I'm talking about is essentially just conjugate training. I know usually when you look up conjugate, it's kind of used in a powerlifting context, but it doesn't have to be. It can also be for just general strength. Now, I like to think in terms of blocks, and I'm not talking about block periodization or anything like that. I'm talking about blocks of strength. So pick one of the movements. Pick your favorite one, even if you're not trying to go to a competition or anything like that. Just pick one you like. I like the low bar back squat, so that's the one that I focus on, probably because it's my strongest one. So say that my heaviest lift of all 20 of these exercises is at 350. Say my weakest one is at 250. Now at some point, I'm gonna go through and with that main movement, say I hit uh, 360, all right? I got 360. Now over the next couple months, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna try to add 10 pounds to every single one of those lifts. And you're not gonna be freaking out about it. You're not gonna feel all of this tension and, and dread coming into it because you already know that at the front line of that block of strength, you already made a PR. So all the rest of them are just gonna follow. And after say maybe 10 weeks even, you might notice that your strength is surpassing that 10 pound in increase. So you're able to add more than 10 pounds to those variations. Well, at that point, you might know, well, you can go back to your main or favorite exercise and you probably have a PR on that too. This gets rid of so much of the doubt and it just makes the whole thing a lot easier and more enjoyable. When you know going into it that you're gonna make it, then you don't have to worry about it. I hope I was able to explain this well enough for you guys. Like I said, it's basically just conjugate. It's just how I like to set it up. So if you do like going for one rep maxes and you're always having that doubt, that self-doubt and you're dreading your upcoming workout because you're afraid you're not gonna hit the movement, well then just organize your training so that you know every single time you come in, you're gonna hit that movement. You're gonna get that one rep max. And that's how I like to do it. Maybe you guys will like it too. Well, uh, see you guys tomorrow.